Hi, I'm David Acosta. Welcome to the Modern Web Design Patterns in Angular 8 course by Pact Publishing. I've been a software developer for more than three years, usually dealing with frameworks such as Angular, React.js, and Vue.js, to name a few. And I'm also a YouTube content maker where I make videos very similar to this course that you're watching now. I'm going to give you a quick preview into the course so that you'll have an idea of the different topics that we'll cover in the course. And that way you can establish the expectations for this course and what you can hope to get out of it. First, we'll take a quick look at what the Angular framework is and how it works. You'll prepare for writing TypeScript, including transitioning from JavaScript. We'll also learn how to generate projects, components, and more using the Angular command line interface tool. Next, we'll take a deep dive into Angular components and learn about how to control the view using classes, in addition to Angular's data binding methods and conditionals. After that, we'll spend some time looking at component templates and utilizing things such as directives, pipes, loops to build dynamic templates. You'll get to learn about Angular NG modules to include services and how you can use them to scale your application and optimize organization and performance. Later, you will be introduced to the different Angular forms to include validation and handling form data and user input. Next, I'll walk you through defining routes for your application and implementing navigation guards, as well as route resolvers. And then lastly, we'll optimize our app for production and then deploy it to Amazon Web Services. Before we get started, I wanna talk about a few things that I recommend learning before we get started with this course. So the first prerequisite is gonna be JavaScript. I definitely recommend learning JavaScript before you go into the Angular framework. The Angular framework can be a little bit complex for new users, so you definitely want to at least have a solid understanding of the language first before you go into Angular. And there are a lot of resources out there, so I definitely recommend first learning the basics of the language before you go into a framework. And as a bonus, I also recommend learning TypeScript. As you know, Angular is written in TypeScript, but it's compiled into JavaScript. You can get by with learning just JavaScript, but there's a lot of neat things that come with TypeScript. And if you don't learn a decent amount of TypeScript, then really you're just robbing yourself of a lot of advanced techniques that you can utilize and a lot of great features from the TypeScript language. Another one that I recommend is RxJS. Now it's fine if you go into this course without learning any RxJS. We're actually not gonna be covering a lot of stuff with RxJS here. But if you plan to make it a career or a long-term type of commitment with Angular, you're definitely going to be dealing with RxJS a lot. So I definitely recommend looking into RxJS and learning a little bit about it. RxJS is a library for reactive programming using observables, and it's used to make it easier to compose asynchronous or callback based code. The next thing that I recommend to learn beforehand is basic terminal usage or the command prompt for Windows. The terminal window is used across a lot of different frameworks and programming languages. In fact, I would say that a lot of the major frameworks and languages out there rely on using the terminal window, not just JavaScript. However, I will tell you that when you're building web apps, when you're building Node.js apps specifically, you will be using the terminal window quite a lot, so I definitely recommend learning some basics with it. You don't really need to learn really advanced stuff with the terminal window, but you wanna at least learn the basics such as navigating through directories. And then the last thing that I recommend is basic knowledge of a code editor. Code editor is gonna be there from start to end, it's gonna be where you're gonna spend most of your time writing all your code. So you'll wanna know the ins and outs of your code editor. I recommend spending some time looking at all the different code editors out there. Try to get a feel for them and see which one best suits your needs, your coding style. Maybe do a little research on which ones are popular right now or which ones are being used for Angular Framework and JavaScript projects. So let's get started.